In unit number 5, we are discussing balancing chemical equations. An equation is balanced when the same number of each element is represented on the reactant and product side. So that means, when you, how we can say an equation, a chemical equation is balanced when the number of elements on the both sides are same or an equation is said to be balanced when the same number of each element is represented on the reactant and the product side. Equation must be balanced to accurately reflect the law of conservation of matter. So if the equation, if the chemical equation is balanced, that means the number of elements on both sides are equal, that shows the conservation of mass, that means the total mass of the uh, total mass of the elements in the reactant side and the total mass of the product total mass of the elements in the product side they become equal so when the chemical equation is balanced the total mass of the elements in the reactant side will be equal to the the total mass of the elements in the product side the law of conservation of mass states that Mass in an isolated system is neither created nor destroyed by chemical reactions or physical transformations. According to the law of conservation of mass, the mass of the products in a chemical reaction must equal to the mass of the reactants. Here we are balancing a simple equation. Balance the equation hydrogen plus O2 giving H2. H2 plus O2 gives H2. This equation is not balanced because on the left side there are two hydrogen, two oxygen. On the right side there are two hydrogen and only one oxygen. So how can we balance? So when we balance the equation, the number of elements, that means the number of hydrogen atoms on the left side must be equal to the number of hydrogen atoms on the right side. In the same way, the number of oxygen atoms on the left side must, must be equal to the number of oxygen atom on the right side. So balance the two atoms. First, look at the right side. There is only one oxygen. So we are making this oxygen as two because on the right side there are, on the left side there are two oxygen atoms. So on the right side, we are making the oxygen atom as 2. So by multiplying with 2. So the, the number of hydrogen atom now become 4. Then on the left side, you multiply with 2. So on the left side, now there are 4 hydrogen atoms. On the right side, now there are 4 hydrogen atoms. On the left side, the 2 oxygen atoms. And on the right side also, 2 oxygen atoms. So the number of elements, that means hydrogen and oxygen on both sides are same. So now you can say this equation is balanced. If this equation is balanced, if you take the masses of the elements, that means mass of the hydrogen atom and oxygen atom on the left side and right side, if you take it, the both will be same answer. Both, both answer will be same. That means it obeys the law of conservation of mass. So, for a balanced equation, it always obeys the law of conservation of mass. How do you balance a chemical equation? Count the atoms of each element in the reactants and products. Use coefficients, place them in front of the compounds as needed. The steps are simple, but it is a process of trial and error. Let us take a look at a few more examples equations. This is a reaction between methane and oxygen producing carbon dioxide and water. The technique is to balance the carbon atoms first, then the hydrogen atoms and then the oxygen atom. The hydrogen atoms this way you can balance. To balance the oxygen atom on the both side, we put a coefficient of 2 in front of O2. The chemical equation is now balanced. CH4 plus 2 O2 giving 
CO2 plus 2H2O. Here from nitrogen and hydrogen you are getting ammonia but the equation is not balanced. There are two nitrogen on the left side and there is only one nitrogen on the right side. So we are putting two on the right side and three hydrogen atom on the left side. 